Because of the lockdown, Rick Ness was six weeks late to start his mining season, but he's making up ground fast with 302 ounces. He's almost a third of the way to his 1,000 ounce goal. Now, he's ready to take it to the next level. What's up, you goons? It's late again, huh? Hey, what time is it? <laughs> you. <laughs> Well, first of all, I just want to thank you guys for all the hard work. Um, you know, things are really coming along good. You know, we're streamlining and uh, we're looking like we know what we're doing. Yeah. Right. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Took a few years. Hey, fake it till you make it, fake right? Fake it till you make it, yeah. We can crank things up and it's just in time because we're moving on from the cheap cut and uh, we're opening up the deep cut. Wicked, man. Uh, yes, sir. So that's a whole different uh, ball game for us. We're moving over 60 feet over burden in a lot of places. That's a lot of junk material to move. It's going to be expensive. Carla, you're going to have to get in a rock truck. Yeah. Uh, we just have to kind of throw everybody into the deep cut, try to get that stripped down. I think we can get it all done, you know. It's doable now. It's just, like I say, we, me and you are going to jump in trucks? we got to keep yeah. the ball rolling, so whatever we got to yeah, do, yeah, right? Yeah. The reward there is hopefully 30 feet of pay underneath that, right, and good stuff like two ounce per hundred type yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's, that's what we tested out at last year. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's get after it. Deep yeah. cut. Yes. Carl, try to keep your pants on. Yeah, I'm gonna try my best. It's gonna be one of the more aggressive things I've done as far as mining goes. There are just three days of cheap cut pay left before the wash plant runs out. We're looking at at least 60 feet of overburden. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta bite the bullet and just do it. To get the three acre deep cut down to pay dirt in time, Rick pulls in the whole crew. We have a lot of overburden to move. It's gonna be a tough one. I'm in the gold room full time and I'm pretty swamped in there. Kinda worries me. I just don't wanna get caught with her pants down. It's a time crunch thing. We're about out of pay in that other cut, and we've got a long way to go and a lot of dirt to move to get to this pay, but it's going to be really worth it. And something just is not so right with this thing. No, that ain't good. Hey, Carl, you got a copy? 10-4. Yeah, man, some, something's going on with the bucket. Uh, get your truck out here and take a look at this thing. Without a 700, we're not going to get down to pay in the deep cut before we run out of pay in the cheap cut. So hopefully we can fix this quick and get back on task. The 700 is the only excavator that can move enough volume of dirt for Rick to stay on track. Just never ends with this thing. No. <laughs> All the welds broke. It causes this pin to go wherever it wants. It's uh, not in good shape, dude. If I can stick my finger in there. Yeah, and that's, that's not good. My thoughts right now are my main production machine is just uh, shot to How do we get this to, to work? To work. You try centering it, getting this gouge a bit, weld it back on, weld, 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 to make it tighter, right? Yeah. Just trying to build this up more. Ugly. This thing takes a lot of force. Yeah, I know, man. It's going to be real low budget and hope for the best, right? There's a collar on the bucket that holds the pin in place and that the bucket rotates on. And now the pin wobbles in there like that, and it causes all kinds of damage. So we just need to get this bucket off, re-weld this collar back on. We can't just run it like that. The bucket is attached to the arm by two pins. On one of the collars that hold the pins in place, the weld has sheared off. Without it, the pin wobbles, making the bucket unusable. Carl plans to weld the collar back on to secure the pin. So yeah, man, this is our money maker. This is our main hole. Though this thing we're great, so try to get that centered and weld it up, but we'll see. No warranty on this job. Going at all? I'm just about ready to attempt to throw a pin in this. Oh, she's heavy. That's on, yeah. Yeah, I might need a hand to Rick. <laughs> I'm strong, but I'm not that strong. You want me to show you how to do it by blowing up my back? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll take it. 
There you go. Out of boy. You got her. A little tight? Yeah. Point. Bucket's going back on easier than it normally does, so that's nice. A couple nuts and we're uh, we're back in business. You're good to move it if you want. Oh yeah. That's it? You made it look easy, buddy. Carl's got the 700 back up and running in just three hours. Yeah, we that went good, man. Dude, <laughs> that's awesome. And Rick still has a full two days left to get down to gold rich pay dirt. Carl saves the day again. I'm not convinced you don't pull that on purpose. Yeah. It's gonna be down for a week, Rick, and then you pull it out of your ass in a couple hours. I didn't think that was gonna happen, though. <laughs> I love it. Just machines digging dirt in the morning. At Duncan Creek. That's the right stuff right there. After four days running pay from the cheap cut and one from the deep cut, Rick Ness and his crew assemble for a double gold way. Yeah, in classic fashion. With a breakdown, we came dangerously close to running out of pay. Just in the nick of time, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> well, we wouldn't have nothing to dig it with if not for you, Carl. Yeah. How many uh, ounces do you think are in that hole there? No, uh, last year, I mean, we pulled 800 yards out of there, ran it. There was 17 ounces. That's so, unreal, man. So yeah, we'll do a little more math on the scale, I guess. <laughs> First up, yeah, yeah. the cheap cut gold. Dude, that looks good, Rick. What do you got? 10, 20, 30, 40, 56.36. Worth over $98,000. Get wow, used to this, dude. Rick. That's good. That's what we've been putting up. But you know, the deep cut's better than that, right? So this is from one day of running the deep cut right here. <laughs> Holy smokes, dude. Next, the goal from running just one day of deep cut pay. Get, Get ready. <laughs> so we got another 10, another 20. Another okay. over 30. That's one day? And we got 35.21. Oh, buddy. Oh, man. Who's got that? Worth $62,000. That's pretty cool. Yeah, buddy. Together, it's the biggest weekly gold way of the season. That was that's 91.57. Which boosts their season total to 393 ounces, closing in on their 1,000-ounce target. I don't know what's more impressive, the goal way or you figuring that out? Yeah. <laughs> you got a guy on site that knows math. We're <laughs> set, boys. <laughs> at almost 100 ounces a week, Yeah. Rick and his crew could be looking at a $2 million season. Time to start hammering down, throttling that dirt out of there. Do it, dude. I'm in. I'm Parker Schnabel, and you're watching Discovery Australia. Hit subscribe now to not miss out on any Gold Rush content.